hi guys so welcome back to being terry thank you so much for tuning in once again and to some of y'all who are new i just want to say welcome remember to click a red button that says subscribe somewhere but to some of y'all who are like my day one who stick with me all the time i just want to say hot 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 love you so much you guys um so today i'm going to be doing a video following up my previous video where i did about the hair and the afro stuff you know doing my hair styles and all of that you guys <laughs> So today I'm going to be sharing my top 5 fashion tips that works for me, hoping that they'll work for you as well. So I need you to stay tuned because we are going to be talking all things fashion. Just a disclaimer, I am not going to be doing dress up, I'm not going to be playing dress up y'all, I am not going to do it, it's cold. <laughs> thing to consider is where do you spend most of the time um, I find that I spend most of the time at work um, at church I also spend a lot of time at the gym so that's how I shop so some of y'all may be maybe spending a lot of time at events which can also you know it can also define how you're going to be doing your shopping almost all the time so ultimately I will buy more clothes for work and then I'll like 60% of my clothes are for work and like maybe 20% church because I know that some of the clothes that I wear to that I wear to work I definitely wear to church because I'm a photographer and I'm always in jeans or like you know I, I don't wear like heels to church you know I don't have that luxury <laughs> but it's all good so number one choose a color theme for your wardrobe I find that it works a lot better when you have the same tone of colors I like my darker darker bottoms like I wear your blacks navies so and then I wear a lot a little bit of color or tops a little more color for tops and I find that it's actually a lot easier in the morning when I have to go to work I just put this and that and it automatically works because my colors sort of merge because I have a certain color tone that I choose for myself you can see if I buy yellow I'll buy yellows different tones of yellows if I buy beige I'll buy beiges and if I you know it just makes it a lot easier for me when I create outfits for going out and I don't have a lot of time because you know what traffic school all of that I really I really need to put up an outfit real quick consider is do you spend a lot of time attending events and if that's the case then maybe buy a lot more high fashion stuff that will that you can use for your events but I don't so I don't have a lot of high fashion items in my wardrobe um, I may have maybe one or two that I can wear to like a wedding or like a gala dinner but majority of my dress majority of my wardrobe does not contain things that are quite high fashion I wear really simple solid colors darker tone colors and I might have like a bit one extreme item that I perhaps fell in love with and I mean we all do so yeah basically my tip number one is choosing a color tone that works for you um, that you're comfortable wearing and that makes you feel confident because I find that like when I'm wearing dark colors it just makes me look slimmer I don't have to worry about stains I don't have to worry about anything you know it just it gives me a lot of confidence so yeah that works for me so number two I don't follow trends I don't wear things just because people are wearing it I don't buy things just because I saw an advert I go with what works for me so it's very important that you consider your body type consider what defines you consider why you buying that item consider a lot of things for me um hence i say i buy clothes that i can use for work and for church and you know on saturday on that one saturday way i want to look all fine on my short skirts my shorts whatnot whatnot so i'll buy some of those items as well but yeah buy things because you're really gonna wear them and you're gonna best use them because that's the value for money you i mean why are you going to buy a pencil black pencil skirt where else you don't ever wear pencil skirts just because the because the magazine or article said it's a must-have and you go buy it no look at your life look at your lifestyle and shop according to what defines you according to your lifestyle number three oh my gosh this one it's so I don't know I don't know guys you tell me if you relate to this so when I go shopping right 
and when I get into the shop, I go for those things that say, come Terry, come, I want you. You know, I, I, if it doesn't call my name, if it doesn't have Terry written all over it, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not going to, not even going to bother myself because I'm not the type of shopper that thinks about things. Like if, why must I go think about a t-shirt? Or why must I go think about a dress? If I really like it, trust me, I'll make means to get it. Um, so that's the kind of shop I actually don't like window shopping. I think that's one of the reasons I don't like window shopping. For me, it's a waste of time because what if I like it and actually I don't have the budget for it. So I usually go to the shops knowing that I can back myself up. You know, I can't back myself up because I am the type of shopper that loves, I like, I have love at first sight. So when I see it, I'm like, oh, it's a must have. I want to have you come, you know, type of thing. If I look at it, I'm like, and I look at it again, I'm like, I look at it, I'm like, nah, then that's not for me. So maybe it works for you. And if you're not that kind of shopper, it's all good. Go think about it, sleep over it, budget for it, you know, whatever. So, but we're all different at the end of the day. Number four, accessories. So this one actually have recently learned about it. I actually learned from somebody at work. Oh, it's a piece of... Oh, hey girl. So um, accessories, I actually, I used to be very... Um, not very scared, but I used to be shy to like pull attention to myself, especially with accessories like earrings, necklaces, all of that. So recently I started exploring earrings. I started exploring, I like your bracelets, your rings and your neck pieces. So I find that they actually add, a, they can make a huge difference to your outfit. Just adding that neck piece, you know, just adding those earrings. It just gives you that sort of um, vibe that you might actually be looking for. You might look simple, but just because maybe of a watch or it's like a sort of statement to how you look or how you've put your look together for the day. So accessories work quite well, actually. Number five. So here's the rule. So I think a lot of you guys might need to hear this, but here's a tip. If you have not worn it for a year, chances are you actually don't need it. If you have not used it for about a year, why are you still keeping it? Um, you know, we've got this sickness of keeping and holding things like shoes, your jackets, your, you know, your winter jacket that you worn like two years ago, you're still keeping it. Pack those things to the side and put them out for donation. There's actually somebody who will who needs that outfit, somebody who needs that jacket, somebody who will look so great in that pair of shoes that pair of shoe that you're holding and not actually making use of it. So that's my rule. If I have not made use of it in about a year, it's going out. It does not work for me anymore. I've outgrown it. It doesn't even have to be old clothes. I don't I find it very embarrassing to give clothes that are torn. No. If I have not used it then somebody else might need it and somebody else might actually look great in that outfit. So so remember to put those things aside and give Kostna Mabi somebody might be actually somebody who will need them. And remember when you give it shall be given to you. Press down, shaking together and running over. So yes guys, those are my tips for today. I hope for me with my wardrobe. I hope it may work for you and if you think it will work for you, press like, press subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much. See you guys later.